Okay guys, so the first thing you're going to want to do is reel off about three foot of your uh, rig body. Uh, this isn't going to be an overly long rig. It's going to be quite short with uh, short snood lines. So onto one end of that, you want to tie your 100 pound raking strain swivel. Just a simple knot. line use this knot pulley it makes things a bit easier just cinch that down nice and slowly just like that turn the tag end off so on the end, other onto the other end of that, you want to slide uh, first of all a crimp then a bead then a smooth swivel you're about 40 pounds breaking strains plenty for the snoots. A second bead and another crimp. So you should have that now your main line swivel, a crimp, bead, snoot swivel, bead, and a crimp. What you want to do is repeat that section there. Two more times from the crimp, bead, swivel, bead, crimp. So I'll uh, speed the video up for that section. Okay, so when you've done that, you should be left with that so three sets of swivel uh, sorry crimp bead swivel bead crimp and repeat it twice more right so the next and final step on this rig body is to tie in your leg clip same knot as the top keep it nice and simple so just three times round the main line back through the loop at the bottom, put it down, wet the knot, use a knot puller because it, uh, it makes it a little bit easier and then just see it step down so it's nice and nicely coiled, you want something like that and then trim off the tag end, leave it just a tiny little tag end poking through there, okay that's the rig body done so all we need to do now is we have to, from the top a swivel, just come down about half an inch just away from the knot and crimp the first crimp down in place. Just roughly. Then the other side of it. Just pull that up against the bead and crimp that one down. That's the first set. Right, for the go to the bottom set next. And what you're looking to do is come up about a third of the rig. So just lay it out. I'm going to come up about a third of the rig length, just roughly, it doesn't have to be exact, it's going to be about there, we'll put that bottom one down first, then the other side of it, that 
that's in place. And then somewhere between the two, it's actually crimped. So in the middle roughly, it's roughly there. Again, it doesn't have to be precise. Crimp that one down. Okay, so from the top of the rig, you have about an inch down, first set, come down further, you have the next set, then further down, the next set crimped in place, and then down to the bottom clip. Okay, so that's the rig body complete. All we need to do now is get your snood line, whatever you're using, I'm using the Amnesia 15 pounds. So again, go to the top set of components and tie the same knot for the other end of the swivel, the snoo swivel. If you're using Amnesia, you don't have to wet it. It actually ties better if you don't wet it. Nice and neatly. Take off the tag end. Run that between, and the uh, rig body between your fingers down towards the second set of components and just come up a little bit, not that much. And we're gonna just snip that snood line off there. So you should be left with a snood line just short of the next set of components. And do that for the next two down. Again, I'll speed it up. Okay, so going back to the top of the rig, you've now got the first set of components with this lid line attached to short the second set of components. Same for the second set, just short of the third set, and the third set all the way down to the leg clip at the bottom. Okay, so the last thing we need to do with this rig is tie on the hook. So if you want to add some attract, uh, some beads that are for attractors, you can. Um, just put any old beads on, any colour beads. For instance, we've got these big colours, or we've got uh, glow beads, which are quite good. Villains attractors, or the smaller ones, or sequins. You can add anything uh, uh, just onto the uh, snood line, just before you tie the hook. What I'll do for this video, I'll just put one of these on. Then tie on your hook. Same lot again. Four times around. Through the loop at the bottom. Be careful when you're tightening these up though. and then snip, just leave a little tag on the hook at the bottom. And as you see now, it's just back out of the way. If you run them down when your finger's between the two from the top set of components, you should fall short of the second set of components there, so you're not gonna get tangled up. So do the same for the next two. Okay, so that is the rig tied and complete. So we'll just check that again from the top. Run your fingers down the snood line and the main line and you should fall 
short second set of components, which we've done there. Check for the second set. If it falls short of the third set and the third set when I'm down, fall short of the leg clip. And that's a free hook um, flapper completed. Um, we'll grab a lead and see if we can hang that up and give you a better view of it. So we'll link a um, homemade Gemini. There's another video on that. I'll, I'll link it somewhere up here in the top left hand corner um, of how I made these. So clip that on to your leg clip at the bottom. I have to change the angle and see if I can show you it a bit better. Okay guys, so from the top of the rig, this swivel here will be attached to your main line and you come down, you got your first hook, um, clear of the uh, second set of components. Same with the next one down, clear of the third set and the final one down from that is next to the lead. Just there, which is clear of the lead. So thanks for watching guys. If you did find that useful, please leave um, a like and subscribe. Um, check out my other videos on the playlist and I will see you on the next one. Cheers guys.